Hey guys, it's Nelly, and today I'm showing you how I make crispy honey garlic shrimp. It's so good, and I'm going to be pairing it with the best Rasta pasta recipe ever, so let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to start by making the Rasta pasta first. So the first thing I do when I'm making Rasta pasta is cook the pasta following the package directions and usually i use penne pasta so you can use penne pasta ziti pasta whichever you prefer okay so to make the sauce in my pan i added a little bit of butter and to the butter i added some minced garlic and about half of an onion dice and you're going to saute that for about three minutes let it soften a little next you're going to add in the tomatoes and the bell peppers Give the pot a stir and then let the veggies cook together for about two minutes. You want the peppers to soften just a little. And next, I go in and I add in some jerk seasoning. Mix the jerk seasoning in with the veggies really well. Next, I'm going to add in some heavy cream. And also, you can start adding in the cheese and seasoning up your sauce. So the cheese I use for in my Rasta pasta is Parmesan cheese. And then I like to add about a handful of cheddar cheese or Mexican blend cheese. And you're going to mix that with the sauce. Season up your sauce. Make sure, make sure it has enough salt and black pepper in there. You could also add a little onion and garlic powder. And you're going to wait for the sauce to thicken up. Once it starts to thicken up a little, you're going to add back in your cooked pasta. Okay, and that's basically it for making the rasta pasta, you guys. You're just going to make sure the pasta is fully coated with that delicious cream sauce and let everything thicken up and that's it so now let's make the crispy honey garlic shrimp okay so in a large bowl you guys i'm adding some flour cornstarch and seafood seasoning now if you want you could omit the seafood seasoning and just add a blend of your favorite seasonings here for when you're cooking seafood okay and I also added a little bit more cornstarch than flour because that's just what I wanted. I will list the measurements for everything I'm using in the description box down below for you guys. So combine the flour mixture really well together and set it aside. And then you're going to take your shrimp and season it. I only use the seafood seasoning to season mine. Okay, you can use your favorite blend of seasonings. Then what you're going to do... Oh, and also I'm using cleaned the veined raw shrimp okay so you're gonna clean the shrimp and then season it and then i dipped it into the flour mixture and you're gonna fully coat each of the shrimp into the flour mixture really well so next i placed my frying pan over medium high heat and i added in some oil and this is what we're gonna fry the shrimp in so add enough oil in the pot and let it get nice and hot once it gets hot you guys you're gonna drop the pieces of shrimp into the hot oil and let it fry for about four to five minutes until the shrimp turns pink and it gets crispy and golden brown on both sides and that is it okay for frying up the shrimp once it's finished frying you can remove it and place it on a plate lined with paper towel so the extra oil can drip and now let's start making the sauce so in that same frying pan i added some minced garlic a few cloves of minced garlic you could add a tiny bit of oil if needed to saute the garlic for about one to two minutes don't burn it and then you're going to add in all the ingredients for the sauce so brown sugar honey soy sauce and a little bit of water and you're going to mix all of these ingredients to combine it really well together and let the sauce simmer and thicken up okay once it starts thickening, you're going to add the crispy shrimp back into the sauce and coat the shrimp with that sauce. And just let everything simmer together until the shrimp is glazed in that delicious honey garlic sauce and the sauce has also thickened up. Now, another thing you can do is mix a little bit, a bit of cornstarch with water to make a cornstarch slurry to thicken up the sauce. But I usually don't do that. I just let my sauce reduce and thicken up and that's it. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this delicious recipe. It's so good. These shrimp 
are good by themselves you don't have to serve it with rasta pasta okay i just did that for dinner and it was amazing delicious so that is it all i'm doing now is plating the crispy honey garlic shrimp and also i'm gonna plate the rasta pasta and then enjoy so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you give it a try let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys